Louisiana Beer Reviews, New Realm Brewing Company's Euphonia Pilsner. Euphonia. Golden Pills, heady with floral hop aromatics. And euphonia would mean like a good sound in beer. Okay. They use Pilsner malt and the hops are hers, Brucker, Huel Melon, Saffir, and Sterling hops. This is brewed in Georgia and in Virginia. Uh, this was sent to me by Douglas in Virginia and he was telling me that these people, I believe, took over the closed down uh, Green, Fra Green Flash Brewery that they had built in Virginia that, and then not long after Green Flash crumbled, but um, too much expansion too quickly, I guess. I believe this is sold in cans and on draft. Uh, packaged on March 4th, 2022. stuff means okay maybe 8 10 a.m. and then some other codes okay um, so we're looking at oh, uh, about a six month old beer being canned it should be all right there's no best buy date it just got the born on date but I think six months, six months should be fine. I mean, I actually, obviously, I'd rather if it was a month old, but can't complain. Okay, thick, off-white head. It's a hazy, golden appearance. So, a German Pilsner or a Czech Pilsner is going to be a lot clearer than this. Not going to look like this. It's not going to have this cloudiness no 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 so is that a flaw well it's not a positive attribute I don't believe this golden this yellow color not even golden it gets a very good score I say good for 87 but 87 out of 100 beer advocate calls that very good but only 46 check-ins Great beer, saying, um, no, it's terrible. It's a 63 out of 100. It's just a bad beer. But in the style, they're saying it's a 95. In the style, it's just outstanding. That means they don't like the style. They don't like Pilsners. Crazy. 71 out of 100 on Untapped. There are a couple of video reviews for this. For instance, Georgia Beer Reviews. John and Neil tackled it a few years ago, so I'll be curious to watch his review. So, um... I have visited that part of Virginia, the southeastern Hampton Roads area, but uh, I just drove through it. We didn't stop and see anything. It was very a very quick visual of it. So let's see, spongy hops. But I would like to make a credible visit of the area, you know, see something. Just not the highways and the bridge and tunnel connection yeah it's a little cracker in the nose that's about it hmm. let's go with the taste chubs get some herbal and somewhat grassy hop bitterness. More herbal than grassy. They don't list the IBUs that I could tell. Seem to be about 26 out of 100 bitterness units. No. Two and a half out of five hop cones sweetness here. Two out of five sugar cubes. Medium body, crisp finish. Well, 
some of the pilsners, a couple of the pilsners he sent me were just nearly a hundred, like heading toward 100 out of 100. That fabulous. This one, and then uh, a cup, a couple of beers he sent me were couldn't even make it into the 80s, or at least one beer. But that's the you know it's the risk you take to send a bunch of beer. Or, or if I go buy a bunch of beer, you're gonna get a few in there that's not too nice. But uh, it's not common. So compared to like Czech brewed Pilsner Urkel or Stauro Pramen, or then in Germany the Flensburger Pilsner or Vernis Gruna Pils, Konik Pils. No, this, this cannot approach those. So I can get a six pack of Pilsner Urkel right now for nine eighty nine. Can this be purchased for nine eighty nine a six pack? I don't know. Now I know these are twelve ounce cans. Those are eleven point two. It's a problem, but you know, like Douglas pointed out, but the Europeans got bigger tall boys, sixteen point nine. We only got sixteen ounces here. So they're doing well on the upper end we're doing better on the lower end I'm uh, talking about the size um, but in the US we do commonly have the 25 ounce cans 24 ounce cans sometimes 23 and a half ounce I don't know if they have those in Europe 25.4 ounce cans we even get the quart cans 32 ounce cans quart 32 ounce do they have that in Europe I don't know This is a very nice beer. It's got a little lemony touch. You can taste that yeasty breadiness. Cracker. But it's still not up to that. The appearance is inferior to those. And the flavor is. But it's still very nice. Uh, I almost scored a... 87 like beer advocate 87 a good beer 87 out of 100 I would like to try more beers from this company I would like to try more beers from every company right I would like to try every beer from every company so laissez les bon temps relate a B beer a very uh, a good beer close to B plus which was started 88 but a good beer, and I'm going to end this review by saying thank you, Douglas, for all the nice beers you sent. It was very interesting, for sure. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Georgia or Virginia and visit one of the two. New realm. It's a new realm, a new kingdom. And that brewery.